morning, YouTube. How's Ooh. life? Life is wonderful. Life is wonderful. True dad. Today is my son's birthday. He is 24 years old. I have 24, a, Mike. a few soreness from our fun last night or yesterday. We did um, archery. We did archery. It was so much fun. And I might have outperformed him. <coughs> Just a little. But he got closer to the to the bullseye than I did. So that's a thing. And then we went to um, a show in the evening and I had dinner and I ate chips and beans and I gained two pounds. So that's the thing that happened. Alright. Well I didn't ride this morning. Um and to to not to counter Dick, what you were saying, but to add some perspective, my claims differently. He says that his mother was much more uh, consistent in archery than he was, and that her sharp eye and rifle skills kind of translated. But that's the story I got. And that you only got a little wild when you got tired. Oh my gosh, we were both so tired. So, yeah. And, I mean, I had another gal that I was meeting to buy a, a tripod for my camera. So, you know, I, I can't say I was super sad. <laughs> he but we were to probably, go. yeah, it was probably only like an hour and a half, maybe two hours. But when you haven't done archery for five years, four years. Yeah, it's been about four years it's been since a while. I took her class. Yeah, because we did Utah. Utah. Yep. And I thought, was Utah before your accident or after your accident? Yeah, it's been a lot. So, yeah. We did a lot of uh, Yeah. Hiking. Yeah, I don't remember limping up the side of either. that mountain. I don't either. <laughs> so, I'm pretty sure it was before. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're right. So, that's literally the last time I did archery. But we loved it so much, I can't imagine. I mean, like, he was like, I don't know if I can afford to do this every single day. How would I get here? <laughs> yeah, that's a conversation we were having because we really, really enjoyed it. So... And then I was talking to Cindy last night, and she said um, she got her longbow at a, at a pawn shop. Oh, and wow. so I sent Mike that text. I was like, we need to go pawn shopping and yeah. see if we can find one. I'll bet you can find um, a pretty good I bet we can, too. And I didn't even, I'm so glad she said that. She's like, and hers was really nice, and she didn't even know it. It was just kind of one of those things that turned out really well kind of a thing. It's like buy a shotgun. It's a great place. Yeah, dinner was a little disappointing last night. I, I'm kind of irritated that I even... I only ate half of it because I was like, this is just annoying. My mom and my sister shared a um, fajita, chicken fajita, which, you know, is expected. And I almost got fish. I was going to get fish. And it was like a, um, like a white meat and then shrimp. Yeah. And then it came with two sides. But then I was like, okay, then all I'm going to be eating is the shrimp and the white meat, which is fine. But for whatever reason, I went back and forth and I finally just decided to get nachos. And the chicken seemed like yesterday's chicken. Whereas their chicken was lovely and beautiful and, you know, steaming on the, yeah. the thing. Mine was like chewy in small pieces and crunchy in places. And I'm like... Disappointing. You gave me leftovers. Yeah, that's what it felt like is leftovers. So, you know, there I I ate more carbs than I had probably in a week. Totally had a cheat day. And didn't even enjoy it. No, yeah. not really. Isn't it funny how that turns out half the time? I really hate that. At least half the time me. you're like, why did I even make this decision? Oh, we forgot the silly string. Oh crap. Dang it! You'll have to ambush him later in the oh, day. Sad face. He won't expect that. Get him this afternoon. Alright. We can probably do that. No, he has work tonight. He has work today. All the sad guys. Go home. Go get a little later. Oh, I don't know. Don't time. Maybe I gotta get to work. <sighs> we have a tradition of ambushing our children on their birthday with silly string. And yes, we do mean ambush and getting silly string all over them. And they normally act like they hate it. With but, big huge grins on their faces. 
Yeah. But then on on the birthdays that it didn't happen, they're all like the next day they're like, you can so these trip me. And so, yeah. But you won't go back. I can't. You're oh. gonna have to ambush him later. Freaking oh. go get him at work. Oh my gosh, that would be kinda of funny, wouldn't it? Yeah. I bet you they got it in Target. Just go buy some silly string in Target, circle around and find him in the aisles and spray. How can he get in trouble for something you do? They may throw you out, but what are they going to do to him? Your mom's psycho. You're fired. I mean. Yeah, not likely. Yeah. All right. All right. Maybe I will. Along with the fact that they they find out that you know it's his birthday because he's got silly string all over him, they may join him in the fun. Yay. I had not in, no intentions. Normally on Sunday I don't take Robert to work, but I don't know. It's Mike's birthday. Yeah. That's what she said. She wanted to find a way to say Mike. I guess that's the way, huh? Yep. I have things I want to do today, and then I have things I don't want to do today. <laughs> you know what I mean? So much. I'm <laughs> headed to the thing I don't want to do today. So with all of the work that you did yesterday, do you think you'll have a no lot to do today? Clue. It all depends on how busy they were. They were so busy yesterday when exactly. I came by. Which like is they not. Were full, 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 full. We suggest that I'll have plenty to do today. But based on my math, I don't think there's gonna be anything for me to do today. But. I'm interested to see how I feel physically today. Having eaten chips. I, I Chips did. were really the only thing. Well, I had beans. I guess beans is not a thing that we're really supposed to have. I um, I did the math after I went home last night. Uh -huh. One thousand one hundred and ninety-nine pizza crust. Wow. You're so off. <laughs> I'm glad you had help. Oh yeah, me too. It was awesome. Everybody worked really hard. Considering if you were doing it by yourself, you would have been there till what did we decide? Um, five, 13 seven? hours. 13 hours. 13 hours. Yes. So it would have taken me from 8 to in the morning to 9 o'clock at night to do it by myself at a pretty good speed that I don't think I could have maintained for that long by myself. But I hit, I hit all new record speeds. Very impressive. Yeah. And you got little bonusy things for it too, didn't you? Heck yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Sam said that we cut the, uh, the first, what did I say, 10 buckets in three hours. And the first hour I was working by myself. Yeah. You're impressive. They don't know what that means, but you're impressive. That's impressive. It's a lot of work. Yeah. You're getting some strength. Yep. So today I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna cook salmon. So you want to give me a, a lowdown of what I should cook in there besides butter? Butter. Do I cook it in the brazier or do I cook it on? What do I do? Uh, broil it. Broil it. Yeah, broil it. So put it on the pan. Uh, put it on, down. Oh yeah, we'll put it on the down. pan. That one. Yep. Okay. Uh, the broiling pan and uh, brush it and butter. Got it. Um, Herby butter? Yeah. What kind there of herbs should I use? We have some lemon pepper seasoning. Ooh, I like that idea. Lemon pepper, yeah. salmon, butter, salmon. Okay. Should yeah. I cut it at all or let it just leave it as yeah. it is? Yeah. We have a full, I mean, it's not. But boil it on low. Low? Yeah. How long yeah. will it take? Yeah, I don't know. Well, like, I need to have so an it's idea. So it's when you poke it. I know when to start it. I'm probably going to do coffee for, I'm going to intermittent fast today, I think. I need to after yesterday's. What's the word? Atrocity. Indulgence. Indulgence. Atrocity. That seems a little harsh. I, let's put it this way. I brought it home. I opened up the to-go box for Robert to look at. <laughs> And he sneered at it. No, 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 that's not what happened. Sure let me, like let that. me rectify the situation you here. Need to rectify it. 
I opened it. She opened it up, and I looked in there, and I was like, she got nachos. She cheated. I bet they're really good nachos. I stuck my finger in the bean and chicken on the sides of it and scooped it up and stuck it in my mouth. And my response to the flavors in my mouth was a sneer. So. I mean, seriously, it just was not. I mean, like, if you're going to eat nachos and you're going to pick the nachos because they're the best option in a, in a Mexican restaurant, you know. They got a rock. They got a rock. They got a rock. I mean, you're you're having a damn cheat day. Yeah, you, it was gross. You're, you're turning down fajitas or, <laughs> or, or spicy shrimp for nachos, which means the nachos have to come to the level of seafood. Good. No. And it's it's nachos, and it was the appetizer nachos. No. So there's no reason why it couldn't have been awesome. And it just wasn't. It just wasn't. Very disappointing. Daisy liked it though. She gave her a little bite. She had a bite. She had some. Well, at she least the dog bite. enjoyed it, which means it probably wasn't too spoiled. Yeah, it was probably just us being whiny. We're food snobs if nobody knows I that. I try to explain that to people, and they don't believe me. And I'm like, no, you don't understand. We are food snobs. Yeah. Like there is a lot. Like I mean, down to the coffee that we drink, and really even like the boys have gotten to the point that even the water that they drink, they're food snobs about it because they will put it out in a jar and let all of the added fluorides, fluorides and, and every other thing evaporate yeah. before they drink it. So you they know? keep a rotation where they're they're drinking out of yesterday's jug exactly and, and my, yeah. mike even told me yesterday that they um he's done some research that putting it out in the sun actually um does i don't even know i don't even think they even know what what the word would be for it yet but the sun actually fortifies it in a specific way that is like sun energy yeah the sun energizes the water and they say that that you really shouldn't do it with the moon because it's been known that moon energized water can actually make you crazy. I was like, see, science right now is so interesting because they're learning I might things. Have to look into that. I know, it's so interesting. Moon they are water. learning stuff that they don't even have words for yet. Which I know they do all the time, but you know, I think like Mike was telling me, he said when he was in school, oh, I got to ask him what it was. He's like, when he was in school, oh, I don't know if I can remember, but it was something that, that was, that was brand new and he was just learning that it was something that might be happening and it was off the wall. I'll ask him. You guys won't know. Robert will know. Um, but it was funny because it was not something that we learned in school, in elementary, yeah. because we hadn't learned that, you know, science hadn't learned that at that point. Oh, yeah. And so it was just so interesting to know that, yes, indeed, they do learn different things than us because, you know, science learns new things. That's why they have to have new books all the time. That's why, you know, schools are always asking for better books because a book that's 10 years old is missing a lot of information. And sometimes it's just totally just wrong. wrong. Yeah. yeah. Wrong, wrong. Yep. And we are science nerds. Um, you know, oh yeah! Give a give a shout out to one of our favorite channels, Suspicious Observers. Oh yes, good one. Yep. Check that out, y'all. It's very interesting to experience what our sun is doing and how it's affecting our Earth. And the solar system yep. and the electromagnetic fields and interplay between it and dark matter. Yeah, or the lack thereof. Yeah, it's very interesting to, to realize so much science is going on that they aren't even barely talking about because it's all new and fringe science. And right how now. do you teach something that you haven't quite grasped yourself? It's all still and in hypothesis so, yeah, stage. So the the papers yeah. are flying yeah. back and forth over the theories, but yeah. there's nothing that's really been established, which most people think that science is, have been established, but in no, all honesty, most of them are not. Uh -huh. We're 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 running with best guesses and the information that we have available. I'll go up and, but it's constantly changing. Okay, we're gonna go say hi to the boy. See you later.